So in April um, of 2018, Wisconsin was the 34th state to pass what is called a breast density notification law. Um, the law states, um, and each state is a little bit different, but in Wisconsin, the law states that um, patients that re receive a mammogram are required to be notified of their breast density on their mammogram. Patients get letters in the mail with results from their mammogram, and on those letters, in addition to the results, they are given their breast density. So patients are categorized as either having not dense breast tissue or dense breast tissue. If you have dense breast tissue, your letter will also include information that says your breast tissue is dense on your mammogram. Dense breast tissue can increase a woman's risk for developing breast cancer in their lifetime and that those patients should discuss with their doctor their risk factors for breast cancer and determine if they would benefit from any additional screening outside of the regular mammogram. So dense breast tissue is a measure of how much actual breast tissue is on a mammogram relative to fat. Fat on a mammogram is a gray or black color. Dense or breast tissue is actually a white color and that's the milk ducts and the other supporting structures in the breast that make up the actual breast itself. But unfortunately, things that we're looking for on a mammogram other than breast tissue, like breast cancers, are also white. So when you have more white, dense breast tissue on your mammogram, it becomes much more difficult to find a white breast cancer hiding inside that white breast tissue. As the breast tissue density increases, the less good your mammogram is, is at finding a breast cancer hiding in there. So in addition to having a mammogram that is not as good at finding breast cancer, women with dense breast tissue also have an increased risk for developing breast cancer in their lifetime. Um, as the breast density of your mammogram increases, the patient's risk for developing breast cancer in their life increases. So a patient with dense breast tissue on their mammogram has about a four to six times increased risk for breast cancer compared to someone who doesn't have dense breast tissue on their mammogram. Dense breast tissue is also incredibly common. It affects about 40% of women, um, and that density again is determined on the patient's mammogram. Patients with dense breast tissue are recommended to have a mammogram every year, and in particular a 3D mammogram if they are able. We know that the 3D mammogram is beneficial in all patients, finds more breast cancers in all patients, but in particular finds even more breast cancers in patients with that dense breast tissue. In addition to that, after discussing their patient's personal risk factors with their provider, there are other supplemental screening tools that we can use. Um, Mercer Clinic offers molecular breast imaging, um, which can be done in addition to a mammogram. We offer annual screening MRIs, and there are some places across the country that do screening breast ultrasound. That's not something we are currently doing at Mercer Clinic, but might be doing in the future.